Hi everyone, welcome to video number four in the IC7100 from A to Z series. As this was recorded in April 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic is still in full swing. Our family decided to do some social isolating in our camper. You'll hear me mention that in the first segment. And my recording setup isn't quite what I normally have, so I'll apologize in advance for any quality problems with the audio or video. This time we're going to take a look at tuning with the VFO and all the options you have for changing your tuning step size and other ways of tuning. Let's take a look. All right, we're going to start looking at some of the basic tuning steps and tuning features on the 7100. But just before I get into that, you may wonder what this bar is that you see over here under the 60 dB uh, point on the meter. And that is the indicator for your RF squelch, which I have turned way up. And you notice the bar gets thicker up at the upper end of the band. And I'm going to turn the squelch down here. And as I go down to the lower end of the band, now we start to get some noise there well and some signals but the uh, 40 meter band is very noisy tonight so I've just got the squelch set all the way up here just so you won't have a lot of noise while we're going through this and you may be hearing a dog barking in the background and if you do I apologize I am uh, recording this in our camper as we are isolating during the uh, COVID event worldwide here so let's get on with the tuning. The normal tuning step, and I'm in sideband mode right now on 40 meters, but the normal tuning step, if you don't do anything else on the radio, when you're in sideband or CW or RIDI, the tuning step is 10 hertz. So every time I move the dial just a little bit, the minimum increment is 10 hertz. Now, if you want to speed that up a bit and you're trying to move quickly, there is a speed-based tuning, which if I start spinning the dial fast, you'll notice that the digits up here start running a little bit faster as I spin it fast for a few seconds. And that is where the radio will auto-detect your tuning speed, and if you're tuning fast, the radio basically says, oh, you must be wanting to move a large amount in frequency, so it'll start speeding up the tuning rate. So those are two of the basic tuning functions. <clears throat> now, if you want your tuning rate to just be in kilohertz instead of tens of hertz, if you just touch the kilohertz digit, you'll see the little arrow pops up on the top. And now, as I tune... You'll notice I'm tuning in 5 kilohertz steps. And the beep there was me going out of the 40 meter band. So it's tuning in 5 kilohertz steps. When this arrow is on, it's in the kilohertz tuning mode. And you can adjust how quickly it tunes by pressing the same set of kilohertz digits and holding. And then you'll get a menu that indicates the step size you want to use. Now you notice I'm using the tuning dial so you have choices maximum is 100 kilohertz per step all the way down to 0.1 kilohertz or 100 hertz per step. So and the default is 1 kilohertz I'm gonna set it there. You can also just set the uh, tuning step by touching whichever one you want and you can Go use the up and down arrows to get to the, the two that don't appear. So you can do it either by dial or by touching the step you want. So now it's going to tune in one kilohertz steps. Now the change for that affects all the bands. So it doesn't remember by band what tuning step you want. So for example, on 40 meters, I've set it to 1 kilohertz per step. Now, if I was actually running up on 2 meters, I really might want this to be 5 kilohertz per step, although I'm in sideband mode right now. But you see that it's the same 1 kilohertz per step. So when you set this, and let me just set it to 10, 
So now you'll see we're tuning in 10 kilohertz steps, and if I go back down to 40 meters, I'm still tuning in 10 kilohertz steps down here. So the radio doesn't remember by band what the step size is. It does, however, remember by mode. And it doesn't really tell you that explicitly in the manual, but if you look, there's a section on uh, item number four that says you can repeat this for each band, which kind of gives you a hint, but it doesn't really, I'm sorry, it says you can repeat this for each mode. So it gives you a hint that it might remember it by mode, but they don't really come out and tell you that. So it does remember the step size based on the mode you're in. So for example, let me go set this to a, a reasonable step size for sideband. And let me go back up to two meters where I might want a different step. So I'm in sideband here. And again, it's doing it in one kilohertz steps. If I go to FM, now here, it's in 5 kilohertz steps because that was the step size that I had set previously. So if I change the step size while I'm in FM, let's say we go to 10 kilohertz steps. So we're tuning in 10 kilohertz steps. And then I go back to sideband, it still remembers 1 kilohertz there. So it does remember the step size based on the mode you're in. And it remembers it differently for each mode. Um, not necessarily sub-mode, but for example, if I go to CW, um, I might want my step size, and I think I've already got it set to that, to 0.1 kilohertz. So it remembered that for CW, I wanted 100 hertz steps or 0.1 kilohertz. So it remembers, that for each different mode, it will remember a different step size for tuning. So that's it for the step size in the kilohertz range. Now you do have one other step size that you can select and and by the way briefly tapping this turns that on and off and I apologize there's actually two different step sizes you can select. We can select way bigger so if you press the megahertz digit as you saw that takes us to the page that allows us to pick the band we want to be on but if you press and hold the megahertz digit you see you get the little down arrow above the megahertz digit and now my tuning step size is one megahertz so and this works down on HF or any any of the bands so if you press and hold and get the arrow there your step size will be one megahertz you don't get any choices on that you can't make it five megahertz or something different but um, and then you can still just switch bands and when you switch bands it automatically drops out of the megahertz tuning So I'm going to turn that off. Now, one other final step size, that was the really big one, is the really small one. And as I said, the default is 10 hertz steps. If you press and hold the hundreds and tens digits, you'll see an extra zero popped up here. And now my tuning step size is actually one hertz. So you can actually tune the radio one hertz at a time with the smallest step size. So you can really finely tune in on that CW signal or digital signal or whatever it is you might want to do or get somebody's audio that sounds just right. So you can tune basically anywhere from one hertz all the way up to one megahertz and pretty much any increment in between with the tuning step. And then if you press and hold the hundreds and tens digits again it turns off that and we're back to our normal 10 hertz tuning step. So that's it for manually tuning in VFO mode. There is one other tuning step that we need to look at that is not available in the voice data modes like sideband AM or FM. It's only available in CW, RIDI, or the data modes, sideband data modes, where if you press data, you'll see my mode changed to LSB-D, which is sideband data mode. And this is also available in RIDI, and it's available in CW. And the function that's available is the one-quarter tuning step size, 
that's under menu two on the soft menus at the bottom of the screen and you'll notice let me just go back into a different mode here if I go to AM you'll notice that option disappears so in CW you can go to one quarter tuning size now what that does is it basically makes the knob work one quarter as fast and I'll demonstrate that here so we're at 7071 and I've got the the little finger indent here at about the two o'clock position so if I just do one turn of the tuning knob we went one kilohertz and then right about there we're back to one full turn so we did about one and a half kilohertz just just under one and a half kilohertz as we tuned for one full revolution so if I take this and I let me get this back to zero if I turn on the one quarter tuning step you'll see there's a little one quarter here on the upper right side of the frequency display and now if I go one quarter turn you'll notice that the numbers are turning more slowly one quarter turn I'm sorry one full turn let me adjust the radio back here was just 0.4 kilohertz so just under 0.4 so we were about 1.5 ish and now we're less than 0.4 so 0.4 times 4 would be 1.6 kilohertz so we're just about one quarter speed so that seems to have worked out just about like it says so that's another mode you have to adjust your tuning speed down if you're trying to really dial something in on CW or RIDI or a data mode and that is all the different tuning steps you have with the dial one final method that you've got to get the frequency that you want aside from using all of the different dial modes is if you go to the band select screen you have the option here that says FINP which is frequency input so if you press frequency input you can type in the frequency that you want to go to directly so let's say I wanted to go to a general coverage frequency not in a ham band and listen to uh, uh, WTTW no sorry WTWW and I know that they are on 5085 megahertz so I can just enter that frequency directly and uh, eh, let's see don't seem to be hearing anything they might not be coming in where I am tonight but you can enter the frequency directly for any mode well yeah, any mode any band by just typing it in so for example um, just for grins we'll go see if WWV is on the air there we go so we can tune in WWV on 5 megahertz or any other frequency you want amateur or otherwise and that's across the entire range of the radio so we could uh, turn that down so you don't have to listen to that if I do direct frequency input I can say 432 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 432 megahertz and it takes me up to the 70 centimeter band so again one more way to get to the frequency you want to get to is just simply type it in if you know exactly what frequency you want to operate on that's all we're gonna cover for this time while we were out camping, I did get a chance to do some operating on HF with the 7100. You'd be surprised what you can do with a very modest and temporary antenna setup. I'll be putting together a separate video with some highlights while operating RV Portable. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you want to be notified of new episodes, just click on that bell icon once you've subscribed. I'm always happy to see suggestions, corrections, questions, or other thoughts in the comment section. 
And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.